Ugh. I honestly want to die. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is my fifth time trying to do this intro and then on the last one I swore I was giving up. So this time I'm really giving up so if it's trash, please just click off. No, don't really. Please don't. Anyway, basically this video is literally just going to be me telling you how I style my outfits. Can you tell how scripted that was because of how many times I've said that? Yes, you probably can. I don't care. We're going into it. Yeah, so basically, I don't know. I feel like it's something I've thought about doing for like quite a while, but like never really gotten why I would do it because I don't know, for me, putting together outfits is just something I've done since I was like a teenager and like something that's always come quite naturally to me. So like anytime I try to like talk about it I'm like oh this is stupid because this is things people already know but then whenever I do like a question box on Instagram or whatever I feel like it's something that like I always get asked like oh where do you get your inspo for your outfits or like how do you put together your outfits and um yeah I guess this is just gonna be like the go-to like video on how I do that so I'm gonna jump right in with the intro. <laughs> basically when I'm putting together an outfit I tend to start with like one piece like overall and then I just work off that so I'm gonna go into my first look and then you'll see kind of through each look like what my starting point was so my first piece I bought this ah fell off the hanger I bought this like shell like vintage adidas tracky in nine coast thrift shop I obviously work there so yeah I saw it in work one day and I was like you must be mine so she came home with me and um yeah it was literally 10 euro like super cheap super bargain like and also i feel like when i'm buying things i always think about what i have at home that i could style with so like when i see something that i love it tends to be because i know i can style it really well with things i already have at home because otherwise shopping just becomes really expensive because if you're like buying something just i think because you love it and don't get me wrong you can do that as well but i think it's important when you I know, I think for me anyway, like naturally in my brain, I always want to buy things because I know I can style them really well. So when buying this, I knew my sister had a pair of blue, baby blue like joggers and like joggers are obviously like a vibe for me. I live in joggers pretty much. Um, and I had a blue Leo and a little blue bag that could go really well. I'm actually a blue hat, which isn't here. Fuck no, you'll see the picture. Anyway, we'll just go on and maybe I'll use something else. But so yeah, when I was styling this, I think I knew when I bought it, I wanted to do like a very color blocked look and that's what I went with. So I'm gonna show you now how I styled it up. Okay, so I'm in the look now. So basically I am gonna pop a picture here of me wearing it the other night. Now I did change some small little details. I changed the hat because that baby blue hat, which I do think goes much better, is my boyfriend's and he asked could I leave it in his house for at least a week after I took that picture. So I agreed. But anyway, that little beanie and that is palace. Super cute. Love that hat so much. But Connor was like, Grania, he literally had it for like three months. Like, please, can I just have my hat back for at least a week? I was like, fine. Anyway, this is the look here so you can see it properly. Um, so I just have these blue joggers on and the blue uh, Leo and then obviously the jacket, which was like my starting point. So initially when I was like planning this on my head, I was like, I'm going to have it all blue, blue socks. I literally had blue socks and everything ready to go with it. And then it was only when I saw this lining on the jacket, which is like a baby pink color. That was when I decided to go with these little Ralph Lauren polar bear socks. Then I decided to add this scrunchie on my wrist as well because I just think the two colors like clash really nicely. That's what I do all the time. I always work off colors and it was that little pink bit in that jacket, which I feel like might not be that obvious. And that was why when I was like photographing it, you can see here, I kind of opened that so you could see. And also I was going to wear a blue wig initially and then I decided the pink in my hair like picks up really nicely, nicely with all of those colors as well. And then I just accessorized with my little Puma bag, which I literally use so much. Like that was probably one of my best buys of 2019. It fits so much in it as well. Um, and then I just decided to go with these new runners I got last week. I wasn't actually mad on these runners with that look because I was just like, mm, I don't know how I feel about them. Like the black I was like, is it too much with the like, such like babyish like baby blue baby pink colors but i actually do think they worked out well at the end because they have that kind of teal like bit at the bottom and then the silver so yeah that was basically how i planned this look i literally went from the two colors and obviously it is kind of a block color outfit but i do think like incorporating like the little bit of pink is like kind of what brought it to life you'll see when i'm talking through the rest of the outfits i definitely definitely think 
personally anyway that it's all about the small details like that like I think if I had to put it with the blue socks as I was saying I've wore the polar bear socks because of the pink picking up in the bottom of the outfit with the top of the outfit with two very subtle details I think if I had it worn just blue it like everything kind of would have gotten washed out but I think like those little bits of color are what like can make your outfit go from like mm, to like ooh. so yeah that is this blue look and I hope you enjoy so I'm gonna move on to my next look okay so moving on to my next look then also I forgot to say there I basically have these on pretty much every day now I literally love them and gold is like my go-to color when it comes to like jewelry now so yeah anyway they're gonna be thread the whole thing so anyway my next my next outfit well the piece that like started this outfit and this is actually my boyfriend's and I don't know sometimes I just like spontaneously be like I get ideas in my head of like what like what I could style with things and I was in my boyfriend's one night and I saw this in his wardrobe and I was like I need to borrow that one day for something. He was like, what? And then I texted him this week and I was like, hey, I need that thing. So it's basically, I actually love this so much. I think I prefer it on me than him. Sorry, Connor. Anyway, it's this palace, like kind of granddad golfish style, like t-shirt knit, I guess you would say. I don't know if I would call it a sweater vest because it's not like fully a sweater vest, but it like kind of is a sweater vest. So I'm gonna talk you through how I styled this now. So before I go and chuck the outfit on, I'm gonna show you for me like the best way to style something. So obviously this is like a little, little, little gray and black, but, and as I said, when it came to the previous look, my biggest thing when styling things is like noticing like little details that maybe not everyone would notice. Um, for me, when it came to styling this, I saw this obviously has the palace writing here. I don't know if you would call that a logo. It's not a logo, it's just the, just says palace, but it's in kind of an orange red color so I was like okay I'm gonna pick up on that and base every other color in the outfit or like the colors in the outfit off of that tiny piece of info so I shall come back when I'm dressed Ew, we just dressed oh so this is this look um I actually love this okay so basically Here's a picture of me wearing it. I did decide to photograph it with a Fanta can because I didn't have a bag that matched this. So I was like, okay, what can we do here? And then I think Instagram literally thought it was an ad and like didn't show it to anyone because like, we won't say anymore. Anyway, I do love it, so I don't really care about Instagram or whatever. I kind of love that there's like a clashing print here, like a subtle clashing print. Like it's not like majorly obvious because I've literally been a fan of a clashing print since I was about 16, picture proof. Yeah, I love a clashing print. Here's the look. So basically, as you can see, what I added is the polo underneath. I think this is my favorite technique for like winter layering. Like literally, it, it means you can wear t-shirts and not die a death of a cold because I love a tea. I love an oversized baggy tea. I'm like, mm, give it to me. But um, this is obviously like knitted as well. So it's like perfect layering. And then obviously the orange ties in really nicely with the orange there. And then I decided to keep it black. Like I kind of played around when I was starting this, but it's like some Burberry shorts, which I think was pretty cool. But I was like, I just don't know if it's like way too much, especially, I don't know, with just the polo, it could look cool, but I think, or not the polo, with the, um, knit it could have looked really cool but I think like the fact that it's winter and there was just like the polo going on as well there was just a lot going on with the Burberry shorts so I decided to keep it black and then my runners here I used the same runners as the last outfit and I actually think they really worked because of the black and grey in them and obviously like the black and grey is more prominent than the teal kind of colour in there as well and then I just added my little bucket hat and I don't know I actually just loved this outfit um, and obviously then the orange socks um, I added those to tie in really nicely with the polo neck and I don't know overall I just love this outfit so as I said I literally did play around with a few different things um, including the Burberry shorts and then I added some bicycle shorts as well but I just thought like these joggery kind of pants just like made the whole thing work so that's what I kind of do especially with things like that I'll literally just try a few things on and then like see literally what works the best which I don't know that's why when I'm like thinking about making these videos sometimes I'm like what the hell like this is so dumb because I feel like it's kind of obvious stuff but I guess it's not that obvious to some people but yeah my like my basic foundation of this outfit was layering the orange with the orange in the palace we have this outfit so that is that I'm gonna move on now to my next outfit okay 
So when doing this outfit, the piece of clothing I decided I wanted to wear was my ASAP Rocky tee. I have worn this so many times, so many different ways. So maybe the next time I do a styling video, I'll do like how I wear things different ways. But when I was getting dressed the other day in this t-shirt, the two colors I kind of focused on here, as I said, I literally always focus on colors in outfits um, and then kind of go off like what way I want to style it. Sometimes I clash and with this t-shirt, I've definitely clashed. I'll see if I find a picture of how I've clashed this outfit, clashed this tee a few different times. But what I focus on here was the blues and purples because I'm really into like those kind of blues and purples at the minute so I kind of went with the same like styling I hate using the word technique when I'm talking about this shit I don't know I just hate it but I kind of went with the same idea um, with this t-shirt as I said it's literally my favorite way to layer t-shirts at the moment and like layer in the winter because it's so warm and you can still wear baggy oversized tees so I shall come back to you when I'm dressed Note to self, before I go any further, never, and I mean never, film a video again before having dinner at half eight in the evening. I'm starving and I'm hangry right now, but anyway, we're gonna get through the rest of the video. So I'm dressed in this. I honestly don't have a picture of this on my Instagram because I don't think I realized how much I actually love this outfit until I got to work and I was looking in the mirror and I was like, I loved it. But anyway, you can see here, I've paired it with some purple joggers. Obviously, I have this little camo top underneath it. I think also because this little blue camo top, I literally got this on Pretty Little Thing, like probably almost three years ago now. But I think because it has the black, the light blue, and then kind of a hint of purple in it as well, it literally just works so fucking well. I love it. And um, so I've tied it with the purple joggers. I got these in the summer in Victoria's Secret in America. I know Victoria's Secret, whatever, but I've literally worn them so much. Like I probably wear them two or three times a week and I wear them like lounging around my house. So they're getting good wear. Then I've also just added my little EA Strands, whatever that is from Urban Outfitters. Socks, the blue, I just think with the purple and then the blue in the top half of the outfit, like just looks really well. I added my little earrings, which I will leave the girl who made me these, I'll leave her handle here. Um, super cute, like Irish gal, love them. And then I added my scrunchie again, again, because the blue and the purple. I just think they're two colors, which like work so gorge together. And then I kept the same runners because again, colors are kind of similar. As I said, the whole way through this, I literally work off colors. And then I just added my little beanie here because it's so fucking cold in Dublin right now, like unbearable. Anyway, and then I just added, finally, my Puma bag again. And then I actually didn't wear this purple coat when I was wearing the outfit out because it was, as I said, so cold. That purple coat was so nice, but it's just not a day-to-day -day coat. And I was literally going to work in this outfit. So I did wear my big blue fur coat, which if you follow me, you know what I'm talking about. It's literally like wearing a duvet. So that was why I wore it. But I think if you were going somewhere else, like that purple one could be like super cute to like tie the whole look in together. So that is my third look. I'm gonna move on to my last one now so brb okay so the piece that i'm working off in this it's not iron so please don't judge me and i'm not ironing it for the sake of a video it's just out of the wash i got this little shirt off collusion i bought it in their sale i literally love collusion um so i'm not really working off colors with this one until i start to add the pieces to it so basically when i got this i was like okay i kind of want to do like an industrial like workery but still street style kind of look so i can't really say much else so i'm just gonna show you the look and go straight into it so b or b okay party people so this is the final look now, here's a picture of me wearing it on Instagram. I did style it very slightly differently, like honestly, minusculely slightly. What the heck is going on with my hair? So basically what I had different on Instagram, so here, as y'all can see, come in. <laughs> I think, <laughs> yeah, thumbnail. Anyway, what was that? As you can see here on Instagram, I had it with my little poster girl from Dolls Kill um, money bra, which I love that bra. Like I've had that as well for almost two years and I literally still wear it all the time. Love it so much. But I decided to put it here with the burbs because I actually, I think when I was getting dressed the other day, I just forgot that I had this. And then it was only when I was like going to do this video, I was like, shit, that would have looked cute with that. So I decided to put it with that. For this video but also my sister took her burbs bag um away with her to london this weekend so i didn't have that so i just substituted with this dkmy bag anyway so i know when i started i said like my starting point with this was the shirt and i wanted it to be kind of like an industrially like still kind of worker but still kind of street style look so that was why i went with these 
kind of massive oversized echo pants i think these have been in some of my videos before um i literally love these pants they obviously had a bit of red detailing in the pants i don't know if you can see here so from that that was where i decided to go with the red and the burbs so i obviously went with the burbs because the burbs has the bit of red in it and then the red jacket and then i added the burbs hat and that was why in the original one i went with a little burberry bag but i just decided to replace it with the dkmy bag because i feel like it's still beige it's still cream still got the vibe so yeah and then i just added my doc martens as you can see here and when i was changing from the previous look all my previous looks were like the socks were part of the outfit so i was just kind of like running off mechanics because as i said i'm hungry so in these videos I literally have no socks on with Doc Martens. I know I'm only in my room, but like that is commitment. So if you can't see that I'm like fully committed to y'all, like unsubscribe, literally unsubscribe. I'm literally wearing Docs right now with no socks on and I haven't eaten since half hour. Why am I telling you? You don't care. Back to the end. So then I just added these little gold earrings. Normally I would add some rings, but as I said, hangry, taken over. Yeah, and I think that was the look. So again, the colours definitely did play a part into it. As I said, the whole way throughout this video, I literally work off colours and I think that's the best way to go. Like this obviously the red ties in with the red there and they're kind of two small details that match and when i had the bag they were two small details that really matched and i think even the way i styled it in the instagram picture because that was black and white and the shirt was black and white and then the hat and the bag match i don't know i just think my biggest biggest advice when you're styling any outfit is go for, look at the fine details like the small details that people maybe wouldn't notice like not everyone would maybe notice especially if i was standing a certain way but like you know when you're like that and like people pick up on little details like i know for me the people that i love following on instagram like i don't notice all of the time say the big details in an outfit i'll literally be like oh those socks match that bag so well or like those like i don't know really really small details is what like i always pick up on and i think that's what like brings an outfit from like just an outfit to like whoa bitch I think that is basically this video wrapped up. I hope it's not like literally all over the place because I feel like I'm all over the place and I have vegan sausage rolls and sweet potato fries waiting for me downstairs calling my name. So that is that. I'm going to wrap up here. As I said, I hope it wasn't a total mess. I'm literally repeating myself now. But um, let me know in the comments below which is your favourite look and if you would like me to do more videos like this. I wanted to keep it all kind of like casual slash like street style looks for today. Um, let's touch the water, see how we get on. If you like these, I can definitely do more um, in terms of like different styles as well and how I would style like say going out outfits or like summer outfits or like festival outfits, you know the drill. So let me know and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that shit. Woo, bye bitches. <laughs>